Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, uh, Malidans. Good morning, Solomon Island. Uh, my name is Mr. Daniel Sudani, uh, representative for West Fataleka, West Baigu, Fataleka, Ward 5, in the uh, provincial government. And uh, I represent the people of West Fataleka. As the leader of the Solomon Islands, he, he was a great fighter for freedom and a great friend of, of the United States and the free world. He supported continuing the Solomon Islands relationship with Taiwan over the government's move to switch diplomatic recognition to the People's Republic of China. He spoke out. He spoke for freedom and democracy. And yet, he was censured and removed by the government. We have seen a very, very huge influence from CCP in Solomon Island politics. I have seen uh, the aim they want to suppress and to keep the people away from their agendas. The Chinese Communist Party has, has sought to unseat him and they were successful. Daniel is fighting for freedom and democracy. His case now at the High Court, which saw him removed, both as Premier, but also as a member of the legislature, is unconstitutional. And if left to stand, speaks to the ability of those in power to remove anybody that should oppose their agenda. That's not how a democracy works. That's a tyranny. People uh, didn't want China anymore. People didn't want to involve in things uh, with CCP. In Malaysia province, uh, those who ride on uh, democracy matters to gain mandates from the people have gone back and joined the other team again. So. The Solomon Islands are still ruled ultimately by those in the pockets of the Chinese Communist Party.